All right, so everything is done. We have our um, our assignment one folder, and inside our home we have images folder, and we have these pages. So what we need to do is we need to um, take all this and put it up on a Dropbox, and we can't do it the way it is now because we can't put folders up. So so here's the assignment one folder. We want everything in here and this folder in the Dropbox, and you can't do that um, because it won't allow you to upload a folder. So what we have to do is something called zipping it. We have to compress it into one folder, everything in it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up Windows Explorer, and you can do that by holding down the Windows key on your keyboard and press the letter E, or going into um, Windows Explorer, um, the yellow folder on the bottom of your uh, system tray. Okay, when I get up here, I'm going to right mouse click on this file, on this folder that has everything in it, and it's going to think for a while. And one of the options is going to be to send to, and then I want to do a compressed zip folder. All right, so right mouse click on the folder, not the files, just the folder, send to, and then compress zip folder. And then I want to compress it. It's going to make this zip file. So you can see it ends with zip. It's going to be the same name as that. I can change it if I want. You can change it to your know, my assignment or whatever you want it to. But I'm just going to go ahead and press enter because assignment one is good to, for me. And remember that it's now in my uh, root directory of my USB drive. All right, now I have to go back to um, D2L. And uh, this is a different class, but it all works the same. Um, I click on coursework and Dropbox. Okay, and here are all the Dropboxes. And again, these are this is for a different class, but it all works the same anyway. And then I click on um, a, the programming assignment one, but you was going to say assignment one. And I'll click on that. Okay, and then um, what I need to do is scroll down a little bit. Okay, to submit a file, I need to add a file. And then I have to come over here. You can't drag and drop, you have to upload the file. And again, if I didn't know where it was, I'd go into my G drive, look for the one that ends in .zip, and then say open. Okay, then it shows up here. If this shows up and it says like 102% or something like that, that means it's still cooking. Um, if you have big files in there, this will not be blue. It'll be a different something out of a different color. Uh, just wait for it to finish cooking, and then it'll end up just like that. If you have huge picture files, you're going to need to uh, make them smaller, and I'll show you that in a second. All right, now we're going to add this. So it shows now. Um, okay, so this is the file I'm going to upload. I can put a comment in if I want. Thanks for making me work so hard. All right, that's a message that will come to me, but I ignore those, so don't worry about it. Okay, and then, whoops. And then, <coughs> I just hit the Submit button down the bottom. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. And you can see there's my assignment file. If you double click on this, it's going to download it to your computer and you can unzip it if you want, but I don't see why you'd want to do that. And an email has been sent to you saying that's been done correctly. So you don't have to worry about it no more. Your assignment's been done. Uh, suppose you uh, hose this thing up and you did the wrong thing and you compressed the wrong file or who knows what happened. Um, fair, we're, we're um, all the instructors for this course uh, understand, especially in the first couple of assignments, that mistakes will be made. We will let you know a mistake has got done, been done and we will allow you to resubmit your assignment. Okay, the last thing we do is done, and we're done. All right, so how do I resize a file? Um, if I go into uh, go to my site, images, I don't like that one. Well, let's just go into here, into images. Okay, if I want to resize these files, and these are pretty small anyway, but it's the same thing. So if you take a look at this, you can see cannot see. These are 42 kilobytes. If you just had a picture here from your camera, it would probably be something like um, 
2,000 kilobytes. They'd be huge because your picture is, makes such big files. Um, and you don't want to try to put that on a web page. So in order to be able to fix it, in fact, let me go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and I'll go to my Dropbox and cameras. This is from my camera. And of course, I've already fixed all these. All right, so let's just. <coughs> all right, so this this is not going to work because I fixed everything already. <laughs> all right, so let's just go back to this. I wanted images, okay? And I say I want to take my classroom and make it smaller. I right mouse click on it. <coughs> I say open with, and then I go to paint. Okay, it opens up. Then what I would do is hit the resize button and tell it if you have a, um, a one from your camera, you would make it like 20%, reduce it by 80%, make it really, really so, and that would make it about this size if you did a camera photo. But I'm just going to go ahead and do 20 here, so you can see now I made it 80% as big as what. If you want to keep the old one when you when you, after you shrink it, then do instead of file save, do file save as. PNG, and then I would do classroom PNG save. Now, I, now I've kept both of those files, so you can't scream at me for messing up your stuff. All right, so here's the original file, and this is the shrunk file, and you can see you cannot see because I keep moving it over. Um, it's made it from from 46 to 16, so um, you'll see a drastic reduction in your picture uh, from your cameras. Uh, two megapixel or two megabyte down to a few kilobytes, and you want to do that before you try to upload it to D2L because it'll choke on a big file size. All right, well that's it. That is the assignment.